Okay, so I just got this working, so it's kind of a, a mess, um, but I'm going to briefly explain uh, what's going on, and then after that I'll put all this stuff into the car, into the, the robot box, um, and then have a drive around. There's two motors with encoders, which tell the position of the, the motor, uh, and those <coughs> are connected to this microcontroller. So this microcontroller talks to the motors and the encoders and can set the speed of the motors. So I want to control this from my computer. This Pi has a ROS node which is communicating with the microcontroller and sending commands to move at a certain speed for each uh, wheel and then receiving the actual speed. And this listens out for uh, commands from this GUI uh, which is running on this development machine, so this laptop. Alright, so this is now one like self-contained unit. Um, everything is plugged in and powered on and hopefully no wires are touching the wheels. Switch to feedback mode and make this 4.0 is the max. Now if I set both to 4.0 you see the wheels move and they're both spinning forward and I can set one so motor one to four and motor two to minus four and you see now they're spinning in opposite directions so that all kind of works um, and now let's put it on the floor and see it drive around it's spinning and then if I set them now both to 4, it would drive straight. Oh, and I can stop the motors. Oh, what's that? Can them go in reverse? But slowly. Nice. And uh, let's make it turn. And let's now make it go straight. Okay, so in the next episode, what we're gonna do is control it more intuitively, um, not with this uh, stupid GUI, but uh, with just keyboard controls.